Hello, Internets! These are the results of my first few days hacking on a Kinect that I thoughtfully received for my birthday. This is a uh, recording I made with some software I wrote of the depth data from the Kinect. That's my lovely wife practicing a uh, veil routine. These are the individual depth samples from the Kinect projected as simple vertices into 3D space. I've linearized the data so that the floor and ceiling are parallel, and this is my living room. And with this projection, we can then change perspective on the video, even tilt or zoom in and out. You can see that as we move, the depth of the veil and the dancer are quite clear. We can zoom in, although the point cloud rendering gets a little sparse. I've written several alternative rendering methods for the connect data. The point cloud was the easiest to implement, but it's not even the fastest, and we get these moiré patterns on the floor. By replacing each depth sample with a small rectangular quad oriented at the camera, we get a clearer effect, but the quality still isn't great. Although as you zoom in, you get this kind of 8-bit effect. It's kind of fun. I wrote a simple contour reconstruction algorithm that replaces the depth samples with a triangle strip constructed from the data. This way we get a solid surface, and we can display it both without normals, as you see here, or turn on normal calculation and lighting so that we get a shaded, contoured surface. This is the best quality rendering I have at the moment. As you can see, everything has this sort of topographical contour view look to everything. This is due to the Connect depth data quantization. As we bring the perspective around, the dancer is very clear, distinguished from the background. The depth is good, but there's still a lot of noise. So what can we do to isolate this from the background? I've written a naive algorithm that uses motion and distance to identify the foreground subject in the image and distinguish her from the background. I've highlighted the dancer here in red using this technique. You may notice that the background is also slightly less jiggly now. The Connect's inherent sensor noise is being canceled out by the algorithm as it learns the contours of the background. As I bring the perspective around, you can see that the dancer is clearly separated from the background. But at this point, the algorithm knows the difference between the foreground and the background, and we have enough depth data that we can isolate the subject completely and simply not draw the background. I'm hoping to use this for 3D scanning and robotics in the long run. My wife is talking about using it to record choreographies during practice. Next, I'm planning to use probabilistic techniques in SLAM to generate data even on occluded surfaces, the holes in the depth data that show up here like shadows. This should dramatically increase the quality of the rendering and make it far more useful for robotics. I published all of my code in a Mercurial repository on Bitbucket, so feel free to download it, check it out, tell me what you think. Thanks for watching.